Good morning, afternoon, or evening, everyone. Welcome to this special edition of the Smoking Mirror Show. Uh, here in collaboration with Flash at the door table, we have a very special guest again uh, back with us, Mr. Larry Woods, um, to discuss his uh, theories and ideas on energy and, and things he's done and created. So, uh, welcome back, Larry. How are you doing? Excellent. Thanks for having me back. Well, you're most welcome. Flash, how are you doing this morning? Oh, I'm, I'm good, and my brother just got on the uh, Internet. You want to add him to the call? I, can, I don't know if you don't have him as a friend on the... Uh, yeah, that, Tim, that might interfere. Um, uh, we, might have, we might take a break in a little okay. bit and do that. All right, that but good? he's available, so... Okay. I was surprised to find just letting you know, last minute. Um, I think he might be able to drop his uh, his ID into my into the box there into our chat window. Not the uh, RLM chat, but our Skype our Skype window, and I might yeah. be able to pick it up from there if I can. That will work. I'm going to mute and give that a whirl while you're talking with Larry. Excellent. Back to Larry. Hey, yeah. Uh, uh, We've got some interesting projects going on right now. Uh, most of our time is, is being spent redesigning or attempting to understand the designs of the reverse engineered spacecraft that, that the United States has. Okay. Uh, we've, got, we've got a power supply and a magnetic drive system that will move the craft. Uh, we just didn't have direction before, and by studying how the United States did it, uh, we have learned that with a circular capacitor divided into 48 different sections, you can give your craft direction magnetically simply by increasing the amplitude to one of the, the uh, capacitor sections. So you increase the amperage on one set of capacitors, and your vessel goes in. The opposite direction. Okay. Interesting. So, yeah. Well, you've, you've come a long way through. since since the last time we've talked. We were uh, we were talking about your coil and uh, uh, it as a generator um, unit right. to, to power. Our our coil is what's made all this possible. Right. Uh, right. The, with with three of our coils, you can have a car. That floats. You can have a uh, a dolly that floats. You put something on it, you touch it with your finger, and it'll move. Uh, now right. we we've got levitation and support under control, and the amount of weight that you can support is strictly dictated by the amperage you can put in your coils. So it's a it's a really easy but easily doable. Uh, these coils will be a little commercial. So this is this has gone exponential <laughs> since the last time we talked. Oh, absolutely. Uh, we've got a design for an electric car. Uh, every rotating surface can be used as a generating surface simply by adding magnets to it and it's a little coil. That's so, right. Every everything now that's got something on it that turns around can be a generator. That's just amazing. Three um, D printing has come a long way since we talked. They're now yeah. able to print conductor that's around ninety five percent as uh, uh, has about ninety five percent of the same property as the actual material, like 95% of the capacity of copper. Right. So, so you can just print with, the coil size straight out of the box. Yeah, yeah, we can we can get these printed now, uh, which means awesome. that everything in the electronic industry is now, uh, we can replace their coils. That's your cell phone, your computer, your TV, anything electronic. Replace it with You're talking about putting the battery business out of business. 
Yeah. And the power business. And yeah, and and, and and yeah, all of the oil and that energy point of access and power. So yeah. what is the smallest coil that you that you start with, size wise? How do you measure the size of a coil too? I'm new at this, Larry. I still don't know much. Okay, there are specific ratios to the torus shape. The the center hole in the ring has specific ratios. So if you maintain that ratio, you can make them any size. And these 3D printers are printing on a micron sca uh, scale. So that means that we can get pretty small. Uh, maybe even small enough to go inside of a chip. And if we can get inside the chip, that means that their chips will no longer heat up due to the processing. Self-powered chips. That's, that's some, yeah. Self-powered computer. Self-powered yeah. cell phone. Self-powered TV. Self-powered refrigerator. Self-powered large. That's computer. huge. That is. Right. That. And, and it's different. It's different scares people when you start talking about something they're not familiar with they usually pay. Well, everything now takes electricity to operate. All of our toys, all of our devices and the electricity that we're using is harmful. So why not make it helpful? We can switch it all to 54 cycles. That'll operate 50 cycle equipment and 60 cycle equipment. So there you go. There's your solution. 54 times 8 is 432. 432 is the Earth frequency. 50, if, if 432 is middle A, 54 is low A. Same frequency, different object. Oh, and uh, hey, Rock, fish feet. What? Rock, Alan sent you a friend request on your Skype so he could jump in on this and speak with Larry and you. Yeah, I got it. I'll add him in here in just a second. Sorry, Larry. Well, you know how unprofessional I get. <laughs> That's cool. And and not only that, we can help out with the aquaponics. They, oh, the, the, the possibilities are endless. That's this is this is so huge. You, you don't even realize. I mean, I'm. Anyway, well, yes, these, let coils, me. these coils don't produce any distortion, which is rather odd in itself. So without the distortion, that means that they're perfect pitch speakers. We attach a copper plate to the back of a coil, and it will make just as loud a bass as you want and just as loud a high pitch as you want out of the same speaker without blowing anything up. There's, there's no cardboard and rubber to get ripped apart. So now the boom boomers can shake everybody's windows. That, that's just one of the funny things that these coils do. One of our styles doesn't produce a magnetic field outside of the coil, outside of the vortex. And hey, guys. Hey, Alan. Hey. Welcome. Hey, Larry. Hey, what's up, bud? Too much. How's everything going over that right side of the world? Wonderful. We're having a good way today. It's supposed to be 105 centimeters Fahrenheit in the heat index. Are you cooking eggs on the ground and feeding them to a dog? Absolutely. Well, who all's in? Who all else is there in the background? We got more people, or is it just you and I, or what do we got going here? It's you and Larry. And and oh, oh, the, oh, the freaky foursome. Yep, we got. I was just giving a little commercial. Ah, yeah, you came in on the end of it. Sorry, y'all. I hey, man, I'm new to this. Y'all have to keep me up. It's to update me here. I don't know what it is. Uh, well, uh, let's put it like this: you, you and Alan know more about the hands-on and the dynamics behind all this. I'm going to mute again, and why don't you and Alan start talking about the coils and what they do and get something done? 
All right, Larry, go ahead and take the lead, buddy. Okay. Um, one of our coils doesn't produce a magnetic field except in the vortex. Uh, that's totally unheard of. When you turn any electric device on and have a compass close to it, that compass needle is going to move away from more points of that device. This coil, when we turn it on, does not move a compass needle except over the vortex. And that shows an extreme north pole coming out of the vortex. So this, this will replace MRI machine coils so that MRIs will no longer be harmful, will no longer be taking to take 120 chest x rays. So, so different styles do different things, but they all get 10 amps per volt. So, so the uh, there's, there's no heat. It's not going to overheat. There's no heating involved in that. It, it, it sounds like uh, uh, awesome ideas. I mean, you know, you know how much damage that uh, that the uh, yeah, the damage that could be done. From yeah, what, when he's created in a normal coil, it's created because of eddy currents. Eddy currents cause uh, heat, which is transferred as drawing more amperage, which means that you have to pay more to operate that device. Right. So if you eliminate, so if you eliminate the heat, that's going to save you money. It's going to make your equipment last longer because it doesn't heat up. That's what damages most insulation. Yeah, yeah, because the heat will definitely, you know, it causes the problem. And with the, with the cycles we're on right now, you know, with the we don't have the proper cycle, and I'm aware of that because the nine isn't fitting in, and the number nine is actually exactly. like, it's your key number here. And yeah, so yeah, if people could understand, if people could understand the outlook of the numbers, because it's too general. Life, life, life is all about numbers. So that includes anything you deal with in electrical, I mean, everything. So yeah, we just need to try to figure out what we can do for this. The nine is the transition point. Right. Every every magnetic field. Okay, first of all, everything has three properties. From a photon to the entire universe has three properties. It vibrates because because it vibrates, it's electric. because it's electric, it has a magnetic field. Vibrate, magnetic, and electric. That's the holy trinity. That's what everything has, which means that everything has a torus field where the, the north pole magnets are coming up from the north end and going down to the south and the south are coming out and going to the north. Yeah. That, is a, that is a torus shape. And every Things got that, and it creates two vortices: one over the center hole going up, and one no, uh, over the center hole going down. So, so, as as these magnets, we'll call them, travel around to go into the other end, when they reach the center point, the zero point of that magnet, that's where the transition from north to south happens. So, oh, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Now, so that's but, where yeah. all the power is. And right. That's the nice. Right. And, and with the, uh, yeah. with the magnet system, they're, they're not, they're not understanding that you have to do, uh, you have to, you have to do a reverse polarity on it to, to even it, correct? Like you have to polarize to well, make the magnets work proper. Yeah, your your south pole is generally stronger than your north pole. Right. So is is there is there a is there a a possibility? I'm just asking a question on this one. Is there any possibility of when the when you're doing uh, uh, the polarity issue, you have to you have to uh, do a reverse polarizer, or you have to be completely polarized, or how is that working? Well, it depends on what you're doing with it. Uh, right. if, you're, if you're making hydrogen with magnetism, magnetic fields, you 
wanted uh, where you're going from north when your ends load to south when your outs load. Right. That way you'll have this stronger field. And what that does is that turns the water molecule, the hydrogen that's attached to that, to 102 to 107 degrees. Right. Okay, close to that. okay now, and now when it comes to the... Oh, go ahead, go ahead, I'm sorry. If you run that through a magnetic field, that makes that, that breaks the hydrogen bond, and it makes it a linear molecule where your hydrogen is at 180 to itself. That makes it separate easier than hydrogen about 20% more efficient. Now, now, when it comes to the generator, uh, uh, you know, the generator itself, where where does that fall into place at? Okay, the, the magnetic drive generator that we've got, uh, that we've got online, is a stationary set of magnets with a cylindrical magnet that's multipolar that goes up into the stationary set. That all sits right down into the vortex of the coil. So once you insert that center cylinder, that begins to rotate and it floats. The only friction you've got is air, which isn't going to cause a problem. And as it rotates, every time a different pole makes a complete rotation, you get another pulse of energy into that coil. So we're producing electricity without electrical input. It's all magnetic induction. Gotcha. And our coils, in, our coils increase the magnetic field of a standard coil uh, simply because we of the geometry. Yeah, and see, now, I mean, I know the, the physical aspect, so to speak, the physical aspects of, uh, you know, how they work. I mean, I've messed with a lot of electricity up to a 480, blah, blah, blah. And, but, you know, with, with the, the phrases, you know, like molecule, blah, 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 and all that, I don't really, you know, I never really got into that part. But the, pa the idea behind it is, I mean, it's astronomical. Uh, it's... Uh, it's going to take out a lot of different areas. It's a fantastic idea. It's world changing, is what it is. <laughs> I got a question for you both. Uh oh. Yeah, I I remember you talking about the number nine, and Alan just about jumped out of his chair when he heard about the number nine when you brought it up. What in the hell is so exciting about the number nine? It's everything. Well, that's what I mean. Can you go through a simple guy's explanation for the dummies like me? Yeah. Uh, I don't retain a lot of this for some reason. It doesn't stay. I don't know why. If if you look, look at any frequency that is, the FCC is allowing people to broadcast and all the Wi-Fi, all of the, the 4G, 5G, and 6G networks, which are all damaging, power transmission and everything, None of that will reduce down through numerology to the number nine. Okay? 432, the frequency of the earth. Four and three is seven and two is nine. Okay? 432 is a nine. 54, which is a low A octave of that. Five and four, four is nine. Any number that reduces down to a nine is not harmful to humans, animals, plants, or the earth. It is in harmony with earth and therefore cannot harm. Well, I want to ask you this then, Larry. Where did the suppression of this kind of information start? And and did they, I mean, they obviously knew what they were doing when they did it, but what excuses did they give the public for the changes that they made that hurt us today? Ever heard of the Crusades? Ever, Ever heard, heard of the Great Central? Library at Alexandria that they burned to the ground? Help. The Romans? Have you ever heard of religion? Once That's what suppressed They can't have control if people aren't slaves to something. And we're slaves to technology. 
and, oh, and they've got a program to kill us all. You know how they're doing it? With Wi-Fi in your school. Your little girls are going to go to school from kindergarten through 12th grade and be subjected to Wi-Fi for eight hours a day, every day, or however many. By the time they graduate, 50% of those girls will be sterile. How many, how many generations is it going to take to reduce the population to nothing? Think about it. Every time you get a chance to say no to it's, Wi-Fi. It's not just school, in school either. Pretty much any, if you're in a city, you're, you're being blasted with it 24-7. That's it. And these 5G towers are so dangerous. There's going to be cancer and sterility gone rampant anywhere near these towers. If they put up a 5G tower in your neighborhood, move. Uh, you can count on it. <laughs> it. It's scary. It's really scary. Uh, with, with all of the metals, just the metals, not the poisons, but all the metals that they're spraying in the chemtrails, we're inhaling those nanoparticles and making us more conductive. Therefore, the signals that they put out off of every single radio tower that's out there, they can affect anything and any way that they want to. Yeah, causing us to they resonate with whatever frequency they, they blast at us. Absolutely. Have you, guys, have you guys ever noticed how little attention this topic ever gets in the uh, in the real world that we live in out there? Well, yeah, I'd put them out right. of business if the people knew it was killing them. Well, I've heard... It's other, like we're putting McDonald's out of business. Right, but I've heard other people tell other people and they shrug it off. The government wouldn't do that and go on with life, ignore you. I preach this every time I talk. 440 frequency was instilled by Hitler to control the people. The same as the lithium that they're putting in the bottled water and all of our water supplies. Control the population. Make them dumb. Make them passive. Make them susceptible to our suggestions. And then with our smart meters, we'll bombard them with strange frequencies all night long while they're sleeping. Yeah, and that makes them do the stupid stuff. Yep. It's insidious. So, so now what? Uh, now, see, Flash has been telling me about this uh, this deal, and I looked into it. It's like a neutralizer for Wi-Fi. What do you guys think of that system? A neutralizer for the Wi-Fi? Yeah, they plug into the wall. It looks like the size of uh, oh, I don't know. It, it, it's a frequency device. Right. Every frequency that there is has another frequency that cancel it out. So that's it's a formula that you can work. Uh, that was the business I was in for a long time. So yeah, that's there's, there are frequencies that control mice. There are frequencies that chase away yeah. pigeons. Uh, everything. Rotations, yeah, you can buy those in in the hardware store. Mosquitoes. Right. Yeah. <clears throat> and and the government knows that, and they're using that against the people. Yeah. Just like there's frequencies that hurt animals. Well, I didn't quite understand. The government's using it against people. How How do you mean exactly? Every single cell phone tower out there has got government antennas on it. Any frequency that the government wants to produce through those antennas, they can broadcast. There's no place. If, if you are in cell phone reception area any place at all you're susceptible to the subject to those that they give you. Yep. The dangers of modern man. Yep. You know, and like yourself, you know, I've tried talking to people uh, over the years about what I did know and nothing but doors slammed in my face, no matter what the topic was, from property rights to the police are corrupt. Oh, yeah, sure, I'm a conspiracy theorist. You are? I'm a nut. Evans to Murgatroyd. We got it. The over. government wouldn't let them make cell phone towers if they were harmful. 
if, yeah. if they weren't Han Solo. Uh, everything this everything this beat yeah, everything does is just something. Uh, hey, Larry, uh, with that last one, do you have some oceanfront property in Arizona I can buy? <laughs> Absolutely. Please. I love the I government. I've got a sky bridge. Okay. Yeah, I, I love the government. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love them. Uh-huh. That's why I'm no longer in America, because I love the American government. Black. Sorry, guys. Okay. And then, but this is a, an energy program, not a... I know. Yeah, I yeah, yeah, we're all going to change it. It came out of my head. I, 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 I lost my mind for a second. Hey, but, hey, bring your mind back. And okay, it's put, back. No, use, okay, use your memory for a minute. Think back on when you were hands-on on something. Mm-hmm. And give, give Larry a, a, something to, to talk about, and you guys, you guys go on about that okay. side of the show. All right, something hands-on. All right, years and years back, I worked in a uh, – I, I worked – for a aluminum foundry. I was one of the maintenance crew and had to work on numerous items. You're talking um, furnaces that would melt aluminum down. You're rating at 3,000 degrees. Uh, I was working with everything up to 480 volts, which was running a water, uh, a water purification plant on the grounds. Everything to full-scale crushers, dryers, mills, that went through with uh, a ton and a half boulder that had to be crushed down into pieces small enough to go in and, and be melted down and then, you know, get the aluminum literally out of it. So, you know, I've dealt with a few things in that line, but in the extremes you're talking about, Larry, it's kind of above me. When it comes to that, I'm a little ignorant. I mean, I, I understand the the roundabout about it, but I don't have a lot of knowledge in it where you do, but I can understand where you're going, except some of the words that you use are a little above me as well. So, I mean, that's where I stand. Okay. Uh, that kind of a, that kind of a facility would have a lot of spikes, a lot of odd harmonics generated when the, the machines operate. The crushers, every time it pounds, it puts a spike in your electrical system. Correct. Right. So, through individual power supplies on those machines, you can eliminate all of that, every single bit of that, that goes back onto your system and affects all of your other machines. So, every time you turn a switch on, there's a spike, and that would eliminate that. Okay, yeah, I, I, know, I know of the spikes. That I'm aware of. Okay. Now, okay. we're also dealing with, you're talking 200 amp motors, electric motors. Uh, uh, it, this one, it, we were running conveyor belts, 200 foot length conveyor belts. I built them, tr- uh, wired them, uh, put the belts in, tracked them, laced them, the whole nine yards. I've done all of that stuff. I, I mean, I've worked on everything in, in, in that kind of field up, for, up to a, 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 a 920 case loader. You know, I mean, that's what I did was turn wrenches and work electrical, and that's where I was at. But in the height of what you're standing at is where it's going above me, but in some of the areas I understand where you're coming from, on it, and, and it makes sense to me on how it would drop the effective, uh, or it would, it, let me rephrase that, it, it would drop the harm of what you're dealing with and with the cooling system in there, it makes more sense to me than anything because no matter what you do, when it gets hot, you lose you lose the breaker. Uh, when you get hot, you burn the fuse. So that's where you're getting your burning, the fuse burning in your and, and doing that is because it overheats itself. And I'm understanding that this is that the coils are, are, are cooling them down where you don't get that problem and you won't have it. Yep. And... and Take this same facility. You probably got anodizing tanks for anodizing the aluminum. That's an electrolysis process that keeps the aluminum oxidizing. Uh, it, and a, a welding, you probably weld some of the aluminum. Every time you strike an arc on a welder, that's a, that's an amperage strain on the next welder over. So by having individual power supplies, on all your welders, 
you're not going to cause the guy next to you to have a cold weld, which is not effective when you strike an arc. Yeah, every unit is so, on its own isolated uh, power system. Yeah. So, you know, there's there's a lot of benefit to doing it like that, uh, especially in industry. Uh, brake presses, uh, uh, like you said, crushers. And, and in my opinion, why not separate everything according to its atomic weight through frequency? Eliminate all those chemicals. Go through your crushing process, yeah. But then just shake the snot out of that stuff with frequency, and you can separate it according to how much it weighs. Yeah. So, so there's there's other ways to do it that are safe. Uh, communication. This one one coil that we've got that doesn't put out a magnetic field puts out a big monopole beam that might possibly be adapted as a carrier beam for communication. Interesting. So there you yeah, there you're not gonna have all these cell phone towers. Or at least they'll be healthy. Right. The main thing that we've got to do, my equipment, somebody else's equipment, whoever, we've got to change the base frequency back to four thirty two in our power production. We've got to change it back. Fifty four cycle everything in the world operates at either 50 cycles or 60 cycles. That's a base power system. 50 cycles and 60 cycles will operate 10% plus or minus. 54 will operate everything efficiency. Our motors will run a tiny bit slower. The British motors or, or the 50 cycle motors will run a tiny bit faster. That's it. The, the norm Arm, no foul, everything goes, and all the power is good. So basically, the, the resistance is from the powers that run uh, business. Yeah. The bank, yeah, the bankers, the business people. Oh, well, how do you, yeah. How do we ever? Okay, how do we ever make the knowledge that you have as common as the knowledge that we've got from the bullshit artists? Take over the media. <laughs> Our oh, news network. Yeah, my fourteen listeners are gonna love that. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Well, what we've got to do is tell everybody you know. Everybody, tell everybody you know, and get them to tell well, everybody they know. Okay, but what what we need right what now need is some physical proof. Yeah, we need to build it. We need to build Just it build. And, and get it out there. Well, that that not, brings me to my question, Larry. Um, last time we talked, like you said, we were uh, you, you had just uh, come up with the 3D printing technique to create the toroids, and now you've that's advanced to the point where you can print the whole thing, including the conductors. Um, up up to a, a certain size, up to four foot square right now. Uh, okay. And they are willing to increase the size of their printer for me. Uh, so that means the world's our oyster. We can go big or little. So, so at we this point right now, you could go into production building, say, units that would that would power a house. Yeah, easily, and that would be in about a three-foot cube. Okay. And do you have plans to set up a manufacturing and some type of distribution? I know we talk, you talked about licensing uh, distributors to to distribute the units. And you would create them. We're certainly them. working on that real hard right now. Yeah, yeah that, that's that's what I'm interested yeah. in. Let's let's get it out to the people, and once the people have it, they can't take it back. As long as you, as long as it's just you guys sitting there with it, it's vulnerable. In my well, opinion, I I I agree with that to a certain extent, but. If you'll think about it just a little bit, what we've got would put any I'm government kidding. on top of the weapons department. Uh, this 
Yeah, that's our, what I'm afraid of is, is them coming and snatching it all up and putting you in a hole somewhere. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we're going to try to get around that by obtaining an international patent from a foreign country to begin with. Mm. And, and that will get us in the market. And I've got packets in four different countries around the world to be opened on my desk. So, so Larry, uh, what are what are we looking at in regards to let's say getting that 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 printer expanded? But that I just talked to that guy today, uh, and that printer itself, just the printer, mm-hmm. well, and the the furnace that comes with it in your first set of supplies. So right. that just that is one hundred and twenty thousand dollars. Okay. But this is their first model. Right. And they've just now got to where they can do this. So that is going to get cheaper. Uh, and the, the, I talked to them, and they're willing to make a uh, test model, or it'll, we'll have to pay for it, but they're willing to do a, a test design to find out if it makes a big enough difference that we cannot use it with our coils. So we got quite a ways on that today in our conversations. Uh, and okay. Now, now, uh, when it comes to that, uh, how, what's, what kind of time frame, I mean, how long would it take to actually do that and get that, uh, that printer up to, you know, to check? Okay. First of all, I would have to go to either Chicago or Minneapolis. That's where they have a 3D scanner that is large enough to scan our coil, our, our big coil, the one I want scanned. It's right. a really good coil. Uh, and then they would send that 3D print off to the 3D printer someplace up in Michigan. And that would take, they said, four to six weeks to print it out. So I don't know if they've got projects ahead of time or if they got a really slow printer. But the one thing I don't like about this printer is that it's cloud operated. That means that whatever download speed you had would dictate how fast the printer runs. I want them to onboard program the thing and I think I can talk them into that. Well you're just that's you're just talking a one shot run just to see if it'll do the deal. Once once you know it works yeah. then you yeah. you'll buy your own and you'll have it all in house, all right? Uh no, it's still a cloud operated printer. That's that doesn't make any want sense. To have changed on it. Yeah. yeah, I I don't want all of this information on the cloud. Right. Right, yeah. But we'll work that out. I understand this that. Technical. Well, let me ask you this, Larry. After after your say the word comfortable, would uh, would you be interested in putting that open source to the world like Tesla tried to do? Oh, oh absolutely. After after we get established and get the machines that's made that can wind these things, so we're going to sell kits. So let the people that have a few extra dollars bring up the people that are poor. Yeah, yeah, we'll sell kits. Part of our business plan is that thirty percent of our stuff's going to be free anyway, whether whether it's product or education or community support or daycare or whatever. Thirty percent of what we make is going back to the people. Well, you know, like the rest of you guys here at the uh, Smoke and Mirrors tonight. Uh, I, too, have a soft spot for my fellows. You know, I'm not a lovey-dovey kind of guy, but I don't want to see anybody go hungry or be cold you know, or, or not have necessities because of uh, the way we're taught to live. And I blame it on the frequencies being set at what they are. That's what causes all this crap we're dealing with. That's one cause in the machine, anyway. Yeah, well, absolutely. And why it doesn't affect us and we're allowed to, to go forward and, and find these things out is amazing to me. Okay, I'm muting. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah, I'm, I'm uh, still there's, interested there's lots in... lots of things that can be helped. I'm still interested in some type of distributorship situation or something where, uh, yeah, you know, if somebody can got can market this stuff and 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 have the support to to come through and produce uh, what we promise to the customer, um, which is a house that that powers itself. I, I I can go sell that all day long and. That's, that's, in that's in my mind, every house <laughs> that's built should have its own power supply. Exactly. And, and this is going to lead to what depowers the powers that be. Because this is, this is their main control mechanism, is, is energy. Let's talk just a second about solar. Okay. Go ahead. All the, yeah. go ahead. All the governments are there. All the governments are pushing solar real big. Solar panels only last a very short time. Right. Solar panels are notorious for burning out. But what they are, are these great huge panels that they have, there are thousands of solar cells in that panel that are all lived in series. When one of them burns out, that panel stops producing. Right. What do they do? They disconnect it and put on a new panel and throw that one away. That is creating a major toxic waste price. Yeah. All of that is toxic, especially in the new solar <laughs> production. So, folks, solar is not the way to go. Uh, we we got a three volt. 500 milliamp solar panel that's about 3 by 5 inches square. Hook that to one of our small coils, and the output went from 500 milliamps. That's unavailable yet, anyway. Right. But, but you can estimate based on some other company. So you haven't, you haven't got that far in the equation. Well, it, it depends on what, what we would like to do is to get some sort of a machine to the plant. Then we want to duplicate that machine or that program, whichever, and these these machines, specific machines, to other inventors or other producers that want to make their own coils, that that want to make our product, but make them themselves. Okay, that way we don't have to meet somebody's production. If we have to meet production, and I've got two customers right now, one of them wants 3000 a month, one of them wants 1000 a month, so I don't want to meet that kind of production. Right. If we have to, then it's going to be a larger facility and a lot more machines. Yeah. Yeah, well, so when you, when you right. strike the court to the public, it's just right now it's just the thought process and the theory process. You know, although you know it will work, people... We have a prototype. Right, right, right. Not the generator, but a prototype. We're, we're, but we're a different kind of people, the, the guys here tonight, than the average Joe. I agree with that. Because, you know, we're all sh uh, shame-based and guilt-based, and when somebody tries to do something good for you, nine out of ten times you're going to react like, well, what do you want? Yeah, I got yeah. Real, hey, I hate uh, got to interrupt on that real quick too. I was meaning to ask you that, Larry. Uh, what, have you have you uh, done any talking about the spook? You know, because I I know these guys, your buddies have have been spooked, and wanted to know what does he want? Am I right or wrong? They they are all pacified now and on board. Okay, so they're see, like I said, you know, you're looking at a guy. That it, it, it's just like the old uh, the old show, the Beverly Hillbillies. Basically, I hit well, actually, I got hit by a ton and a half of beef jerky, and now I'm <laughs> where I am. So I, I and basically, I, I wear a big old black cowboy hat. I wear I wear you know jeans and a and a shirt, and I don't I, I'm not 
I'm not into it like okay. everybody else is. I'm I'm not that type. I'm I didn't grow up with a silver spoon in my mouth. Uh, I don't pay somebody else to wipe my ass for me. I don't pay for five hundred dollars haircuts. This is not. I go out and I I find deals at seventy percent off. I buy things for ten pounds that normally would run you seventy pounds or a hundred pounds. I pay ten ten dollars for tennis shoes. I know you understand the value of of, of currency. I I don't even like the word currency because I don't own anything. I'm borrowing it. I'm using it. I'm renting it. I don't own a thing. No matter how you look at it, I don't own anything. But you have control of some of it. Well, yeah, yeah, I have control. Correct. But, you know, I guess that's I'm facing really not life anyway. that I, I don't own anything back. either. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, well, my, you know, Flash loves to mess with me. And because, you know, you know, people like Hans, you know, here we go. I'm just going to bring this. People like Hans calling calling Flash a, a right. moose. Yeah, but my this point is, is I'm, not, I'm just coming into something here. I'm going to get right out of it. But this is the type of person I am. I, I don't care about what I do. I, I'm not trying to make money off of anybody. I like the idea of what you have going, and I would be willing to start investing in something like this if it's going to work and make things right. That's where I need your that's, people that's to understand my motivation my as well. Well, until we ah. get the printed model, I can't guarantee that that one will work, but the ones that we've got that we go after by hand work. That I can guarantee. Uh, so, yeah, it's a matter of whether this, this advanced procedure is going to work, but the idea is there and solid, and, and you have a prototype. Absolutely. Right? Absolutely. So, I mean, the, I can uh, prove everything that well, I've it's said. just a matter of, of which hump in the road we're going to have to climb over. Um, yeah. And, and they're not homes. It, yeah. This is going to flow so smooth. We did, yeah. There will be a, a hiccup every now and then. Right. Because I'm not much to the business. Hello. I'm an engineer. That's what I know how to do. But we've got such. Oh, yeah. I guarantee you make things. Oh, yeah. I could sell this shit to well, you. Now, I wanted to do anything, but I didn't. Well, there's there's mining, communication, transportation, medical, instrumentation, test oh, yeah. instruments with a coil that doesn't provide any distortion. Your test instrument will be accurate. Uh, the, the list goes on. Endless. endless, completely endless. That's why the name of our company is Limitless Energy Technologies. Yep. <laughs> well, besides the electric, is there anything else you wanted to, to bring into the conversation tonight? Or today, I'm in the night, you're in the day. <laughs> well, um, we can talk about the the new systems for, for propulsion that we're using, or not actually propulsion, yeah. for generation that we're using. And I, well, before you did that, I got a, another weird question, if you want to go in this direction. Yeah. Unfortunately, the quality is gone. Are we going to overload? Yeah, I think I'm going in and out here. Yeah, I think we're in an overload. Yep, I hear you okay, Alan. Um, yeah. I don't know what's coming through. I think it came back. There, Larry's back. Okay. Where's... Flash, you still with us? Well, Flash, Flash, I think we might have lost Flash. Oh, no. Black Red Flash's house. Oh, no. Yeah. <laughs> oh, here he comes. Spark it up, Sparky. There you go. <laughs> right. Spark it up, Sparky. All right. Uh, yeah, I don't know. It's, yeah, I think having the four is it, it's, it's, it's kind of fading in out. Yeah, we're pushing the, pushing the bandwidth. That's modern here. technology, gentlemen. Yeah. 
No, oh, that's our shitty American internet. What was your question? Yeah, that too. And, you know, like I said, again, I apologize for not having mine up and running right. No, no, you, yeah, you've, flash, you've got, flash you've got your life to deal with. Yeah, yeah, flashes out. Yeah, well, I've been moving and getting everything organized. We just got a house. Blah, yeah. blah, 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 blah. So I've been busier in the one-legged man at a fucking butt can come. I hear you. That's all. I've okay. been running like a fancy. And I'm telling you, Larry, it's been nothing. I feel bad because I haven't got, I haven't even been able to look at that stuff because I've been so tied up trying. Because I'm trying to get our mother over here from Scotland, England, and it's yeah, just been I'm one, one another. Flash flaked out. Oh, yeah. oh man. Yeah, he's offline. So now, yeah, we can call him Flaky Flash. <laughs> So, uh, that your mother should be your number one priority. Yeah, yeah, and it's yeah, and and that's why I apologize for everything. But it's you know, I got to take a trip to Scotland uh, within about a week or so. Uh, so, Larry, uh, you, well, y'all have uh, y'all have seen my my better half, Dork E. Lynn, come in here. Oh yeah, yeah, that's my better half. Her name is Lynn. I just named her Dork E. Lynn. And she really gets a kick out of the R O M M. She loves listening to the door table. <laughs> the amazing, the amazing Miss Mary, Miss Graham's dork. She's awesome. And she just loves yeah. to sit there and listen to that. So, you know, I like to, you know, personally and, and say welcome for, for my better half for joining in, wanting to hear all this. And, you know, she's getting into it. She's learning about it. You know, because it's different for everybody out here. It's not, uh, they didn't know about it. I'm trying to bring it over here as well and kind of get a few more people listening once in a while or whatever. And she can't type on hers because it's a, a, a tablet and it's got some kind of screwy system. So I'm going to be getting her a laptop this week. And she'll be able to get it in. She may say some stuff. She may not. I don't know. That's but, all good. That's all good. Yeah, so, you know, Welcoming me into the to the R O M. Everybody can participate at their own comfort level. Flash dork is back. Flash come back. Uh, he's on. Uh, he just oh, came back on. on. Let me oh. add him back in here real quick. Yeah, yeah. yeah. let's see if we can get him back in here. Alan, did you have a question? Uh, yeah, I forget to get through my brain part. <laughs> I do, uh, Larry. Um. You mentioned that you were uh, uh, using the uh, technology that was reverse engineered from the UFO crash uh, that the yeah. government had done. Where, uh, would you elaborate on that? Yeah. Um, the, the Germans had lighter than aircraft, not lighter than air, uh, magnetic drive craft. Uh -huh. And... We, we know that because Admiral Byrd got his tail kicked down in Antarctica. Uh-huh. Uh, but that, that's a reverse engineered thing from crash craft. Uh, okay. The bell-shaped object that the Germans created was a time travel device. But okay. That, that bell shape is also a spacecraft. And our government reverse engineered it, uh, found out that the base of it is a capacitor plate, a massive capacitor plate. The center column that had two different types of circulating fluid in them, one circulated clockwise, one circulated counterclockwise. That produced energy because it was circulating ferro fluid of some type. And that energy powered the coils. There also, on the outside of the craft, are uh, Marconi-type antennas that Tesla developed to uh, use. He, he took them farther than just antennas and it created a force field around it that would separate, say, the hydrogen cloud. If you were, if you were going faster than light or even, even slower than light and ran into a hydrogen cloud, it would be like running into a solid wall. Right. So you've got to have someone move that away, and this this antenna force field is what does that. Oh, uh, Star Trek's deflector dish. Yeah, exactly, exactly. 
uh, we've, we've got an uh, understanding of the different systems that were in it and how they were placed. Uh, yeah, the, the base capacitor. This is fascinating. It, it was like we didn't have direction. We get we can go one way, period, with our with our propulsion system, and we didn't have any idea how to give it direction. Out of this, now we know there's a large capacitor system in the base, all pie shaped, 48 sections. All you do is run your power to those and increase the power in one section to go exactly the opposite way. What this yeah. does, you're, you're making a gravity well and a gravity wave. You're making a wave behind you, expanding the field behind you, and collapsing the field in front of you. And you literally just fall into the hole. Yeah, I get it. It makes sense to me. So, so it's it's just a matter of, of finding out that technology, and not only that, inside the magnetic bubble that'll be formed, there will be no inertia. There is no such thing as not faster than light, because in a magnetic bubble with no inertia, the faster you go in space, you're generating more power as you move through. The faster you go, the more power you generate. The more power you generate, the faster you can go. That means almost instantaneous yeah. travel. Yeah. And once we figure out how to travel the flux lines, it will be instantaneous travel. Talking about warp 10. <laughs> well, in, any, any, in, any magnetic any flux line. Anywhere in the and, universe. You know that the government's going to start putting out the, there's a shortage of magnet in the world stories, right? Yeah. See, whatever is good for us, there's always a shortage of it. <laughs> or oh, it yeah. costs so damn much that you need to you need to borrow money to buy one. Cost prohibitive, yes. I would like to eventually make a magnet factory on the intersection of two ley lines. Interesting. Follow the book completely. The day was handled with magnetism. Oh, and uh, before yeah. I, I got bumped off, and we had a few problems with the internet, but uh, I'm back again. And yeah. I was asking before I got bumped off, is there a, a way to explain it in simple terms why water and electricity are so important? If they're clean, they do something, but if they're uh, mismanaged and dirty like they are, the results are different. Oh, absolutely. Um, that goes all back water. to the wavelengths, right? Yeah, yeah. So it's all about frequency. Water has a memory. Okay, water water remembers what frequency you put in it, and it will eventually dissipate. But it holds that frequency for a long time. Uh, and frequency, since water is denser than air, frequency travels faster water. It covers more distance. So, yeah, frequency is, is everything. And conductivity, if the water is a little bit dirty, it will conduct. If it's absolutely clean, distilled water, it won't conduct. So, it depends. You can use water for an insulator or a conductor. So, so the government has purposely... Uh, kept the water as dirty as they possibly could. And what they did was they wrote the laws around the fill. This level of so much of that is acceptable. But they knew that a tenth of that number was bad for us already. But right. they wrote down, well, let's add a zero to the end of this. Nobody will notice. That's right. And they keep increasing those numbers, just like with the radiation that's coming yeah. over everybody's country in the jet stream. Let's raise some acceptable limits. Hell, let's give them hell here. You betcha. Right. But still, there's just so few of us that have the interest of 
about it. Pay attention. Yeah, and and clean electricity is what computers need to operate on. Right. Back and in the I, I'm imagining the layman's mind, Larry, where the guy like me just says, well, I can't see it, so it must be clean. Or, oh, gee, it's third. You know, because the guy is, you know, 12th yeah. grade education, and I work at McDonald's. Don't you know? Okay, clean electricity means that it has a smooth sine wave that voltage and amperage begin at the same time. In your power systems, there are spikes everywhere. Voltage and amperage do not ever start at the same time unless you're the very first customer coming next door to the power plant. Right. Okay, is that good or bad, though? That's bad. It's bad. Uh, well, that position is a good position because you don't have... Okay. You don't have clean power. <laughs> Every, all, all, all of electricity... All electronic equipment creates odd harmonics. That is frequency going in opposition to current flow. That mm -hmm. means that everything takes more power to operate and runs hotter. Okay. Right. You have X amount on your system, and the guy next to you that's running off the same power line, your garbage gets dumped onto him. And then that accumulates, and his garbage gets dumped to the next guy, and on and on and on, all the way down the end of the line. That means the guy at the end of the line is paying twice as much for his power as the guy at the beginning of the line. And the power company knows this. Wow. But see, I like it when you tell the story. So I don't mind being the forgetful one tonight. <laughs> forgetful isn't a word for that one. <laughs> well, Larry, the power, Larry, the, Larry has simple ways of explaining this to me. Yeah, I know that. Not my fault, I can't remember it. I'm for, picking on you, brother. <laughs> I, I know the gist, but I really like the stories. Yeah, so do I. No, yeah. because and it's good I can understand. To hear I have the same problem. I have the same problem. Uh, I understand the outcome of it, but when it comes to, you know, it's like a doctor. You know, a doctor uses big, big, big words to talk to me normal, and I want to understand. But I do understand where he's coming from when he does that, because I love the idea of this, and I'm definitely very tired. I love the implications. The, the, like you were talking, the applications are, are endless all the way to traveling the stars. And exactly. that excites me. That, <laughs> that, uh, that's the kind of thing I want to be involved in. So you'd like to be a distributor, right? I mean, yeah, well, I, I want to get it out to people. I want. I, I think every house should have its own power supply. I agree. And, that, and that's what's going to. And that's what's going to going to break the chains of 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 control. Because right now we're we're dependent, get... we're dependent on the oil companies, the energy companies, and they're all owned by the same freaking people. The media yep. is 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 covering for them. The government's enforcing for them, and you know. And, and all the way up to the money, which is yep. the key element We're trying to work where, with those how they got the right now that will provide clean water. So if we get clean power and clean water out there, I think that we'll be doing our job the way we should. It's the only way to now, be independent. I, I've been reading a little bit lately about the damage the radiation's doing. But I also read there, there's um, graphite that will clean it. You know anything about that? There's over 140 different things that will absolutely stop that and clean it. And nobody will be allowed to ever use it because Fukushima is just number one. Every, every other power plant is designed to fail and they're going to let them fail. World right. Health Organization reduced the population by 90%. Yep. They're doing that. They're trying that now. Multiple and, ways. But there, and there are, but there are ways to clean it up. That's, that's my point. The, the truth is hidden from the masses. So yes. here we are, this little group of, of oddballs, so to speak. We, we don't mix and match in public. 
So here we are, and we all have the same information and the knowledge, but not enough money to make. And this is the part of the game that we're all sucked into. We're so controlled. Gary Vesperman, Gary Vesperman just made a book with all the remediations that are coming in. And I hear music. <laughs> Somebody's phone's God. going off. Oh, Mr. It's Pop. not mine. I got, I muted you all so I could, uh, wouldn't bother you. <laughs> I have why not vibrate. He, Gary Vesperman just finished writing a book and had it published that explains every different way to remediate the radiation over there. And it's been presented to them. And they didn't want to hear none They're of being it. Perfect. No, no, they don't care. Yeah, uh, what's his name? Uh, 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 the guy that did the, uh, the, uh, oh, crap, I'm having a mind blank. Hey, the Henderson, the Henderson effect, uh, what's his name? Uh, oh, Henderson, yeah, yeah. The guy up in Vancouver, the, kind of a wacky mad scientist type. Yeah. That did the... He can uh, remediate it through frequency. Yeah. He's, he was he actually went out on a boat and was actually cleaning stuff up for a while. He has some videos up. No. Yeah. And there's a hologram that will clean that stuff. A hologram. If you so clean stuff with with radio, well, I don't know, electric waves, where does the trash go? Because I'm really slow at this, guys. No, you where don't understand. Where does the trash go if the water's clean? No, you don't understand. There's no trash. Nothing changes. It, yeah, the only thing that changes is the frequency of the atomic material. So, right, but if you're looking at... Um, say where they've spilt crap into a river and you want to clean that up. Changing okay. the frequency is one part of the job. What about the trash and the shit that they've put in the water? Don't you have to put a, put, you know, a collector, put a collector out there that skims the top of the water? Use all that, the plastic and whatever floats down, recycle it, turn it back into fuel, turn it back into whatever. Make fertilizer out of it? Out of petroleum products? Well, you just have to make fertilizer out of it. How, how do you get rid of plastic? How do you get rid of plastic? Now that we've got so much of it that it's starting to, you know... <laughs> there was, part of there the was a Japanese guy shit. that uh, you created a way to turn it into fuel. Buy me a refitting ship. For, for, right, but for if you turn it into fuel... I'll go out in the ocean, too. Yeah, but you, you're burning petroleum again. And I'm trying to get away yeah, from well, the yeah, whole that's truck. <laughs> right? Yeah, so, but, stuck but with all the plastic. It, make them use only recycled plastic for petroleum until it's all cleaned up. Oh, yeah. And by that time, I'll have an individual power source on everything. Yeah, we need some renegades out there throwing some hemp plants up. <laughs> hemp, hemp will draw radiation out of the soil, yeah. and hemp is easy to dispose of. Yeah, well, I was just having one of my hippie dreams right now while you guys were talking, and I thought, wow, what if all the potheads went out into the world and threw a handful of seeds? What a glorious place it would be. Yeah, well, th maybe would, there'd be so much of it the cops couldn't get it all. And <laughs> <laughs> fuck it up. It's like that in Nebraska. It's called ditch weed. Yeah, yeah we got ditch weed up here too. Exactly right. No, we used to be a real big hemp growing area when they were growing rope. Yeah, boy, that that was back in the yeah. day when it was the law, though. See, yeah. they changed the law to suit the suit the corporations even back in the beginning. And they just lie to you in school so you don't know you've been raped. Graham just asked a question in the chat room. He said, uh, when you change the frequency, it changes the way the molecules bond to each other? Yes. 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 Frequency and polarity do that, the magnetic fields. 
with okay with frequency you can break molecular bonds exactly. with a, a high enough magnetic field you can do the same thing you can you can right. split cold fog vapor with a magnetic field without electrolysis that's on board hydrogen production out of a steam machine so, so what, what you're basically but what you're basically dealing with is the competition based on money system right yeah because these other people are geared up to stop you before you ever get started exactly absolutely they know you're here oh yeah Oh, yeah, okay. they know all about you. Yeah. Well, right. So what, no what, needs, to be made clear to, what needs to be made clear to people that are learning new things is that just what you just said, that they're lying to you to keep you on inferior products so that you'll be sick and needy. That's right. Yeah, it's hard for a broke, sick uh, populace to uh, stand against any kind of oppression or tyranny. Well, look! Look at the cops. How they're armed again? Oh, wow! They look like uh, we don't have cops. Teams. We have a standing army. That's right. right. Yeah, I saw it metamorphosize over my. I life. didn't have that good of equipment in Vietnam. <laughs> Sad. Exactly. Oh. I don't mean to laugh, Larry, but wow! What a thing to say! You weren't that well armed before. Wow. Yep. Yeah, and, then, and that's, that's typical if you ask anybody that's actually been out there. I, I like the water tank. Those things look fun. Wait till they bring out the sonic cannons. Oh, no, 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 no. How do you Wait, fight Graham that? Drums, one boom. Graham says, so wouldn't that be a way to eliminate the trash by using frequency to decompose it, I guess? Yeah, that would be one method. It would take a pretty high frequency to break down the plastics and the, and the more dense materials. Right. But yeah, it could be done. It's but, but it's not as difficult as it sounds or as difficult as government makes it by not doing anything except m put more shit in the water. That's it. That's we, it. Just had, we, just had another, we just had another question. Sorry, guys, to interrupt you. We just had another uh, question from Graham's door. So wouldn't that be a way to eliminate the trash? Yeah, yeah I, just, I just said that. <laughs> I'm sorry, I, I, I was freaking out. You were watching. In, in. <laughs> That's all good. <laughs> yeah, I got, my, I got my head up my royal key. That's okay. <laughs> <laughs> all right. It's all good. Okay. Hey, Please try it. There's it. no bad questions. Yeah, yeah, there was on that one. Well, it just struck me as odd because, you know, in the normal understanding of the word clean water, uh, I know from a dirty sink of dishes, right? You, you follow how simple this is with me? Mm -hmm. Okay. So I'm thinking, well, beyond that, you'd have to understand that vibration would separate the water from the metals and the oils and all that other crap, and they could be removed. Yeah. But see, the way they portray cleaning up big oil spills is all these big problems, and no, they put they could do it with uh, a lot less effort if they just change the frequencies. That's right. That's what you're telling me, right? So I'm yeah. seeing this big billion dollar operation being done because they don't want to show you how easy it is to really do it. Yeah, they they want to stay with their approved methods that use petroleum and fossil fuel, that use enormous amounts of electrical energy, because that's where they're making their money. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, that's what the... Oh, I just, I just like to be agreed Tesla, with Larry. <laughs> that's why the, the banker guy shut down Tesla's, because he couldn't, he couldn't, he had no way of, of regulating and selling it. Yeah, if you can't charge for it every month, I ain't doing it. Well, if you have to charge for it every month, I'm not doing it. Exactly. Everybody should have their own. That's right. That's independence. Absolutely. And that's think, the last thing they want is an independent populace. After a one-time cost, you never have another electric bill. Yeah. There it is, right? There. 
And what that, would you do with that extra two, three hundred dollars a month or more? All right, and and what that's what I'm getting at is that if you get five percent of the people, and that's about all there is of us in the first place, and you, you show them the benefits of this new technology that you uncovered, the ninety-five will catch up. So that's you're right. just in the thinking stages of a project that could do what Tesla tried to do. Basically. So I understand you're, you know, you're trying to not be out there too much to get shot at or anything. Yeah. And that's, yeah, just, that's a lot of mean people. I guarantee you, if what you have is real, and, and from what I understand it is, you are a target. Right now. You're like a god, though. <laughs> well, yeah. No, definitely not. Hey, what well, there is nothing that we have done that is original. Everything, exactly. everything we've gleaned from the Emerald Tablets to now, it, right. it's not new. No, no, it's it just brilliant. Hidden from his knowledge, yeah, hidden from us by the people Tesla that take care of shit. Yeah, pyramid math will tell you what we're doing. Solomon yeah. math will tell sacred you sacred geometry. We're doing. Yeah, sacred geometry will tell you what we're doing. In fact, if you make sacred geometry out of copper tubing, circulate feral fluid through it, it will not only generate, it will create a plasma ball in the very center of that geometric shape. There you go, Hans. He just told you how to do it. What's a plasma ball? What's a well, plasma ball? Yeah, I don't a know. A baby sun. Uh-huh. Oh, a glowing okay. ball. Yeah, I got that. Yeah. A ball of plasma ball. energy. Yeah, well, yeah. energy's got to go you somewhere. You've seen the, the Tesla coil flash, the, the little balls, and you put your fingers on them, and, and the lightning comes to your fingers? Wait a minute. You know what I'm talking about? The Tesla coils? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's plasma. That was, Never heard what they were called, but I remember them from parties. Exactly. Yeah, I knew you'd remember that. That's why I said it. <laughs> <laughs> The condition I leave in was a lot worse than what I started at. <laughs> so memory fade. But I remember the ball, and you touch it, and the light would, yeah. If you really want to freak out your local telephone company, the yeah. telephone building has receptacles on the outside that you can plug into. Take one of those balls and plug it into an outside plug from the phone company. It will put static on their lines so loud that you can't hear the phone. <laughs> oh, one of them little Tesla call it coils? Yes, I sir. Didn't know yeah. You were a van. Interesting. <laughs> Good idea. Oh, I, yeah. I, I, I used to do central office work, and that's how I test my bonding system. Give me evil ideas. <laughs> <laughs> that tells everybody, Graham. You and Chloe are going to have the dude. That's great. Sorry, guys. No, no, no. No, 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 it's all good. And not, not this is, to mention... This is an unregulated that. show. Larry's the guy that got me interested in the turmeric. And then I told Alan about it, and he tried it, and he went, hey. ta -da. So, no. you know, word of mouth, you've made that's it. That's great. Thank you all. That's good stuff. I put it in everything. So what we need to do is uh, network out with other groups and start promoting Larry. Get Larry out there a little more, or at least the knowledge. Well, that's that's what I'm waiting for is the the viable marketing opportunity to once uh, you're you're still in generating a production stage. It, it was a year, a year ago though that I first talked to him. Yeah. I met him through. Princeton. That's right. And, yeah. it, you know, then I didn't even bring it up to my brother until a couple of months ago. And a, a year's gone by, so what's another year? But I, what I'm saying is get people prepared, get them interested, like Larry was saying. Yeah. You know, talk to folks about it. Well, that's that's the funny thing. It's, it's really hard. 
You know, well, and it's just like it's just, just like Hans is saying in, in the class in the class in the classroom <laughs> in the chat. Uh, uh, yeah. like in the anyway. classroom, that was good. <laughs> it's it just like now. he's saying. Show me, show me the unit that I can plug into my house and have electricity, and and we'll discuss how much I'm willing to pay for that. A, a disconnect switch is a, a, a box with a lever on it. Two right. wires will go into the top of that box from our generator. Right. Out of the bottom of that box, two wires or three wires will go to your main distribution panel in your house, right. wherever that is. Just like you're pulling down for so the all you've got to have is enough room for a three-foot cube below your panel, and you're done. And that will operate 24 hours a day until the modulation board runs out that provides the proper frequency. We hope right. to boost that up so that it will last. Last a long time, but they're really, really cheap. And it's plug it when it goes bad, you pull it out and slide yeah. another one in, and you can probably get somebody else to change it for you for 50 bucks. Other than that, the generator will run until the magnets run out, and that's going to be a terrible, high, expensive thing to replace. They only last between 300 and 400 years. That's it. Your generator will be generating. You'll just need a new control board. Your kids will be able to use it. Their kids will be able to use it. And then the way people are, that they're more familiar with changing a chip out of a machine than they are with fixing it. Mm-hmm. It's so just like changing out a video card in a computer or something. Exactly. Yeah. An SD yeah. card for one out, both on in. See, it, that would be the easiest thing for this last generation to figure out how to do. Yeah, it's, it's That's nothing. Right. So That's you're you're thing. working into the future, but you're using the past to get there. It's amazing to me. Everything that we know has already been forgotten by the people in the past. Yep. Everything. Nothing new under Civilization has risen and fallen. Yeah, civilization has risen and fallen for the past 400 million years. Hans wants to know what materials your magnets are made out of. On this planet. No, we don't know. Did you hear me? Okay, you realize I'm going to have to kill you. What's that? The, the outer stationary ring, I'm going to have to kill you. The outer oh. station inner ring is made of anilco magnets and the inner cylinder is made of neodymium magnets. Outer is nickel? They're just similar magnet. Uh, uh, aluminum, nickel, and cobalt. Aluminum, nickel, and cobalt. And the in inner one is neodymium. Yeah. A-L-N-I-C-O. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, neodymium. Alnico and neodymium. Inner core. There you go, Hans. Top secret info, just for you. Well, anyway, but Java says seven percent could bring change. I think it's less than that. But the goal—that's the point I'm making—is everybody knows other people outside of this little RL and, and M group, and we need to start making this a topic. We talk about. You know, it's nice to talk about how pissed off you are about the government, but we all are. So let's talk yeah. about how to this fix shit. This is a real solution. Yeah. Well, yeah. Okay. Talk think, about how to fix shit for a few minutes every day and see where that takes you. Think of these churches that have millions of dollars in overseas evangelism. Those churches can afford to buy some generators to give these people that are off grid power. Yeah. Oh, the, no. the market possibilities are just completely endless. There's, there's no, there's nobody yeah, that the would want thing, it. Rob, the funny thing about it is once it started, it would start improving people's behaviors. So it would be a wave that couldn't be stopped. Just like the one we're on, it would just reverse it. Exactly. It's, it's not about money at all. It's, it's about 
Right. You got to get money to ba- to build the thing so that people can use it, and that's the glitch. There's the problem. The machine yeah. is working against us. So for the moment, what we're supposed to do, I think, is start explaining to people that this is a possibility and it can come. Right. Well, well I've been doing that for years already. We're not the only solution. Oh, no. It's reaching out and letting people get together and say, hey, there's a way out if you want to take it, but it's going to be a lot of work. Yeah. My job in it is talk. I'm lucky. No, there's there's thousands of free energy devices out there. Some of them work, some of them don't. Some of them give you a lot of power, some of them a little bit. But they all do something. Every coil, no matter what shape it is or size or anything, every coil will do something. Get out there and play with it. Try it out. Look at different ways to do things. But Look do at exercise caution. <laughs> When I brought up recalibrating a generator to 54 to my brother, he he was, like, laughing at me because I didn't know what he, what I was saying to him. <laughs> you know, I know what it means, and I know, but I don't know how to do that. <laughs> I can explain it to you, but do it with my hands? Wait a minute. Oh. But my brother went, oh, yeah, I could do that. So there's yeah. lots of people out there that could do it, but maybe they don't know they need to do it. Yeah, we, yeah I agree. we've been brainwashed and taught in school so much that yeah. is incorrect or only part of what it is. So, yeah, yeah. we just got to overcome our stupidity. And I'm the dumbest one of all. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. Mary yeah. might want to fight for that crown. So we have a comment in here, if I, if I can say this. Remember that super... Remember that super magnets can suck the iron out of your body right through your skin. I would bury this in the backyard. Really? Okay. (laughs) The whole idea behind this is basically to stop. The coil takes care of that issue, and you won't have magnets, or you won't have anything sucked out of your body. Because that's that's why... That's why our generator will be in a Faraday cage, so that there is absolutely no possibility of anything harmful getting out of it. I will never put anything on the market that will hurt somebody. Well, I mean, now, because because of the question, I'm not saying the question is wrong. I'm saying basically is because I cannot have an MRI because I have metal in my leg. This is true. It will suck it through your skin. But with the system that you're talking about, it won't be able to. Am I, is that right, uh, Larry? Yeah. It, it, you would have to especially get make it a point to mess up to, to get harmed out of this. The field that is generated. Okay. The reason that we can get so much amperage out of these coils is because we control the magnetic field. We suck it all into the ring of the donut under the wire so that only in the vortex is the field magnet. So as long as you don't look into the eye of the gorgon, you're all right. And the magnetic drive system is the same way. All of these can be put in Faraday cages. Our generators will be in Faraday cages so nobody gets it. The fingers in it, but that's we we could never put anything on that would be producing such a field. Like like the coils that are made, made out there that are incorrect, that are putting out so much ozone that it kills bed bugs, and it's such a high magnetic field that, like you say, it pulls the, the iron out of your blood. A pegometer at ten feet, that's not good. No, no, no of course. So, yeah, well, we're not like that. Yeah, no, I just, I was just uh, uh, basically bringing up the comment that was said about, you know. Yeah, I'm, I'm glad yeah, you did. I, it's, well, it's because, with, like I said, with me, you know, with me I, I, I took an injury, and because I couldn't have that MRI done, because it would, would suck that steel, that metal out of my leg, 
you know, I couldn't have that done. So basically, with this kind of a coil system, that would stop that from happening because you know what they do now. Yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah I believe so. Okay, then that answered the, the comment that we had. The, that let you, you know, to let you know what was said there is, uh, yeah. I, like I said, I believe strongly in what you're saying, but I do understand your point, and I'm all for this, and I'll, I'll do what I can on my end to try it, you know, because I just got here. I'm still a visitor in this country, but I think that I can probably get, you know, more people to understand what this is, and I'll do my best on my side. Uh, if, if we just get the word out that there are alternatives to the way they're doing things right now, not harm. Which is yeah, something I've been saying the, for years. The, the government. I'm, so, I'm sorry, Rob, I walked on you. That's all right. It's, it's, I was just saying it's, that that's something I've been saying for years. I've known. Um, it's like one of the shows I did on, on KeeleyNet with uh, uh, the founder of that. that yeah, I started. Uh, going to that back in the 80s, early 90s, um, and it's all about alternative technology and energy and health and and all types of different things. And so, so I've been pushing alternative tech and open source and stuff like that for many years. The Palmer 60. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Science had a 100 mile per gallon carburetor. Yeah. Yeah, but the public's not desperate. Us yet. It's not convenient. I saw him in Germany. Get, well, I saw him in Germany protesting, getting pushed around with cops, water cannons. So they're still willing to beg, and as long as they're willing to beg, they they're they're weak. They're never going to understand. That's not how it works. No. Don't feed the bears. They will become dependent on you. And yeah. When you stop feeding them, they will die. Yeah. yeah. Or they will come and eat so, you. <laughs> yeah. So what is the answer to that? Free energy, clean water, enough food. Yeah, it would just sort itself out because the anger issues would all dissipate. There would be no need for it. It wouldn't exist. That's what I believe is that the wavelengths that we, we feed on are, are doing us all, all harm. And, and if they clean it up, or if we clean it up, they, well, fucking they. But if it was cleaned up, the results would change. So there wouldn't be anything to strive for because it was already in motion. Well, the happiest people in the world are the people without power because they're not yeah. subjected to authority all the time. Well, I asked that Saturday. And they're not. You know, what, what did people do before? Why, why are we told such horror stories all the time about, about the past instead of uh, any, there's nothing good to, to read about history. It's all bad. And here we are in the 21st century and everything's all fucking wonderful and we can all talk to each other in different countries but we're all still feeding the same tit. We're lazy. Yep. Mm -hmm. We want TV. Nobody else to do it for Okay, that's a good that's, put it. That's by design. They want us dependent okay. so on them. There's so few people. Right, and there's so few people like you and Rob do, and Alan. Uh, just sometimes it seems like it's never going to change because the opposition is so big. Yeah, well, they have trillion dollar budgets. That's why you're starting a third world country. Yep. When you're starting so country, they'll get energy and clean water. The government's going to say, hey, I want that too. Government, you're going to allow it. That's the point. You, yeah. you need to spread it far and wide every, for all four corners of the earth. Everything is backwards, Larry. It really is. Yep. I think just, well, take, take your power company that's owned by the government. The Indonesian government tried to put a cable under the water for their over 10,000 islands. They don't want to put a station, a power station, on all their 10,000 islands. They don't want to run cable 
over the top of some mountain just to hit a village of 100 people. Those are the people that we want. Yeah. That's your primary market, yeah. So that way we won't, yeah, that way we won't be but upsetting any natural grid. And not only that, we've got a 17-coil system that will eliminate small industry from the power grid. And these very, very big cities like Kamasa in, in Ghana, they their people have power in that city about three hours a day. And the rest of the time, the industry uses that power. So if you take the industry off of it, then the people can have power more of the time. Or let the industry stay on the pay grid and give the people uh, for you. We can help them too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's yeah. my that's just my perspective. <laughs> well, once once we eliminate the you're not gonna be able to, to make them stop having a grid. That's going to be a hundred years from now. They'll still have a grid system somewhere. So that's not something we can end. But we can stop the external use of power, the, the generators, the, the gas turbines, the, the on-site that they're using steam. The Romans used steam 2,000 years ago. Let's get out of the steam age and move into the magnetic age. This is the 21st century. Right on. Here, here. And well said. Well, you know, it's there's just so many ways that we can improve what we've got without hurting other nature and without hurting each other. And why can't we hold these power companies and the, the cell phone companies accountable for what they're doing? Well, hey, Larry, I got studies that show us harmful. I got a question for you. Could you recommend for the beginners or the newbies maybe some reading material or links to see to get you pointed in that right direction about frequencies? Uh, yeah. And then we'll have it on we'll have it on the recording so we can refer back to it. Don't have to write stuff down. You can just tell us with your cool Uncle Larry voice. Um, so, yeah, I thought you could recommend something fun. Yeah, my favorite book is on magnetism. It's the Davis Manual of Magnetism, written in 1842, right. where Lee Scalman learned everything that he knew. So yeah. uh, that's close to that. Yeah, yeah, that's that's my favorite book. Uh, if you look up harmful effects of five G, just Google that. You will come up with a whole bunch of things that explain exactly what that frequency is and what it does to you. If you look up harmful effects of Wi Fi on school children. Yeah, I noticed you're real heavy on that one. Yeah. Buddy, listen, the kids are the yeah. future. I know. Yeah. If you can't save the children, forget about everybody else. We're going to die. Yeah, and they're working their best at it and distracting people with religion and politics and crap like that. And new math. And keeping them stupid. Yeah, yeah. oh, yeah. The core really math. Good. Well, when you and Alan hit on that number nine thing, it was very interesting. This is the number nine for the Mayans. This is the age of enlightenment to, no. to the Mayans. And here we are so, in modern times, and we're above all that voodoo crap from the past. This is what I'm saying. Right. Is they fucked with the history. I think the history is not what we've been told. I think before electricity, it was a different world. Hey, Larry. Yeah. Yes. Grams has a question again in the class in the in the classroom. Um, are there any adjustments that can be done now to clean up the electricity <laughs> that's coming into your house? Did you hear that? Not at your house level. The only adjustments, yeah, the only adjustments can be made at the power company. Every power company generates power. 
they have to modulate that power mm -hmm. from 3,600 RPMs down to 60 cycles. Okay? So modulating that frequency is a matter of turning a dial at the power plant. Okay. It, it, it doesn't change anything at all that they're doing. It's a matter of turning a dial. And so the answer to that question is go to your power company and demand that they change the frequency to, to 54, right? Yeah, 432. Or 432. What about with personal generators? Your personal generator has a frequency modulation board in the electronics portion of it that also can be retuned. Okay, so you need to retune the electronics board in the generator itself in order to set the proper frequency. Right, you may have to change an oscillating circuit in it to get to the right frequency, but it would be a simple thing in one component. Yeah, you, you only need to be an electronics engineer. <laughs> no, not at all. I feel like not you are right there on fine if you know what to look for. But yeah, Rob. you just got to pull this diode off and put a different one on and, and, and change the... You uh, can read on the internet. You should be able to... Is there a YouTube video on that? You need <laughs> Make a YouTube video for that, would you? <laughs> Who? I'm just kidding. You can find anything. Yeah, Alan could do it. I've learned so much since I stopped learning, since I stopped knowing. I've learned yep. so much. Right. Once you realize you don't know shit, then you start learning. <laughs> I have a lot of ideas, so ask my wife. <coughs> yeah, let's use that. I have some kind of ideas. Oh, no. Ow, ow, ow. Good oh, no. No, no. I wasn't getting on. <laughs> I wasn't getting on any the program. I was just... You know, we talk quite a bit about everything, and the experiment of these new ideas is a lot of fun. Yeah. And they're not new ideas, but they're they're news to me in, in this late in my life, because I wasn't taught to pay any attention to this stuff, so I didn't. I did other things. But the road brought me to this anyway, so it's kind of interesting. Yep. Everything we've done leads up to present. All the decisions that we've made lead up right to right now. Yeah, we. Had, I don't know. Did I? Did our? Did you already ask the other question that was asked after the one about uh, the adjustments yeah, and stuff? Yeah, I did. Okay. okay. Yeah, I'm. I'm monitoring the chat. So. I'm yeah, glad somebody is because they. I. I. My I'm job, my new system. I'm new to all this stuff, so I'm trying to, I'm, um, juggling, multitasking. <laughs> I can juggle a lot of things, but this is something I'm still learning. I can't listen and read at the same time, so I'm all right. I don't have to chat. <laughs> Turn off chat. Yeah, that's what we do on Saturday. I let Mary handle the chat. Right, I got you, I got you. But Mary does have the questions, and she says, uh, I hear you on the knowing and learning. The more I learn, the more I realize how little I know. Absolutely. You know, yeah, if you treat it like energy, because it's fluid or liquid or wavy or whatever, it just keeps going. It's always subject to change. So what I knew on Monday on to change on Friday, then I didn't know anything. I just had an idea for a minute. Yeah, about the time you learn something, it changes. Yeah, for, uh, yeah, yeah. That's an exact fact. So here it is. <laughs> or what will happen to me? One thing. I'll find some new thing, research and whatever. It may be some law thing. I did a lot of that. And I'll find some new way of looking at something and thinking about something. I'll start looking for it, and I'll find something that's been out there for 10 years saying the same thing been there the whole time. Well, well, well boys, come across, and ver and come across and verification of our design and everything that we look up. It, it's amazing. 
the Hindu mantras, the gods of whatever they call the things that they stare at to meditate. Yeah, yeah. Some of those are coral yeah. designs. Yep. Some of the ancient runes are proton accelerators and plasma generators. It, it's amazing. If, yeah. you, if you look at things without a religious perspective to them, and as motors or generators or energy sources, you can see a lot of stuff in the joints. They, yeah. They ancient about, and uh, not these joints with the, the guys holding the basket and the cone. That yep. basket was a capacitor, and the cone was a projector for that power. You you put copper plate in the shape of a cone like that, a pine cone like that, and you will be able to project that energy forward, whether it be for yep. healing, to draw that to a certain spot, to heal a bone faster. That's all good stuff. It's all real. It's energy sources. <coughs> the Ark of the Covenant was a giant capacitor. When you've got gold on the outside, wood, insulator, and gold on the inside, or silver or whatever, you put one electrode to the outside, one electrode to the inside, you've got a difference of potential. That's a power source, that's a capacitor. So, you know, so much of this stuff is, yeah, maybe it was real, but. They didn't steal the only capacitor that Egypt had. Everybody in Egypt had some form of capacitor. They went to the obelisk to charge them. The pyramids are gigantic earth batteries, just like a Tesla tower. But they put out the earth frequencies so that they were never harmful. Right. All fascinating stuff. And we're coming up on the two-hour mark here. Uh-oh. Is there anything uh, else you want to discuss, Larry? Uh, I'm pretty well covered, I think. Any, any other updates that we need to know about? Uh, still looking for the evil dollar. Right, right. Yeah, thank you, sir. Okay, well, yeah, I hope that... Uh, uh, we can, uh, all that will work out, and we can move Spread forward. the word a little bit Yeah, more. Yeah, exactly. Yep. And start getting, getting yeah, some of these things out there. Sorry, I'm, I'm still uh, new to this, gentlemen, but, you know, I'm, I, I don't know if I did any good being here tonight, but I appreciate oh, yeah. you inviting me. Thank you all. Absolutely. For, it's yeah. good to have you here. Well, I'm gonna have to uh, I'm gonna have to cut and run. I got to go home, and we got to get some food for supper, and you know, kind of later in the evening here. Absolutely. Yeah, we I appreciate all you guys, and you know what you're doing here. And Larry, I'll be talking to you soon. Good, good. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. All right, so am I, buddy. All right, well, I hate to eat and run, but I'm out of here, gentlemen. Have a all nice right. night. Good night, Arlen. Thanks. Bye. Thanks for coming on. Okay, Alan is out, and uh, unless you have anything else, uh, Larry, you want to wrap up with? Yeah, free energy's out there everywhere. Look at it. Take one light bulb off the power grid, just yeah. one at a time. You That's how we got to do it. Everybody. Absolutely. All right, Larry, Flash. I sure enjoyed it. Thanks a lot, Rob. Absolutely. Thank you, Rob. Thank you. Hey, Larry, I need to uh, touch base with you after the show here for a minute, so if you'll hang on. Great. Please do. Yes. Okay. All right. Well, Thanks that's for having it. me. That's it for the Smoke and Mirror show on this uh, 10th day of July 2017. Thanks for tuning in, and you, everybody have a great evening.